hello guys welcome to or welcome back to planet him so today guys we're going to be taking a look at the full shadow high series one collection i want to kind of go into them talk about my favorites talk about my least favorites just kind of talk about the line overall before we hop in though please make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to support my channel now let's get right into this video i definitely feel like shadow high kind of shook up the doll world a little bit especially considering like we didn't have a whole bunch of leaks you know what i'm saying we didn't really know what was happening we were all questioning it we didn't know what was going to happen we thought that the bodies were fake <laughs> and for them to be real a whole complete line of just grayscale dolls with like tiny tiny hints of color amazing like the dolls look phenomenal they all have their own style and look i'm ready to get into this make sure you guys go down in the comments tell me your favorites and how would you rank them first up we have my girl natasha zima her overall white color scheme is so beautiful in person. She looks so like ethereal. Her overall look, I'm really loving her hair. She does, however, look like an all white Daphne. Like she looks like Daphne 2.0. I mean, child, I'm not really complaining because I love, love Daphne. Look, I know a lot of people had a, <laughs> something to say about her dress. They were calling her chicken feathers, ostrich feathers. I personally love this dress. I don't know why. I just love how it looks in person. Because I was one of those people that was like, mm, I don't know about the dress. But it's honestly everything. Her shoes, they're very simple. But they are so cute. And they go so well with like the look of the dress. I overall love her vibe. She's beautiful. I would definitely recommend her as one to get from the Shadow High line. Because she's just overall so gorgeous. Her second outfit eats like... I think both of her outfits are really, really nice. I love her makeup, her um, lips. Like, she looks really, really good. Um, I think overall, I would give Daphne... I called her Daphne. I'm weak. I think overall, I would give Natasha mm, an 8 out of 10. Yeah, because she really is eating the girls up. I love her. She's just so cool. Like, she's literally just like an all-white doll. Like, literally a blank canvas. I would love to see people, like, do makeup looks on her. Like... <laughs> I'm here for it. You know how every doll line just has that one doll that's just like the one, the fan favorite? Well, that's Heather. And I can definitely see why. Heather is so, so dope. And she's like so edgy. I just love her overall vibe. Like this is something you would not see Rainbow High girls wearing. You know what I'm saying? Like this is just beautiful. Like her half and half hair is already sickening. And then you have like um, the rings and hoops in her hair, the paper clips and her big bamboo like earrings and then her choker, like her overall vibe is just everything. And her dress is cute, but I feel like the real statement piece, the piece that just really grabs me has to be the jacket because I'm sorry, the zippers, the patches, the bones on the back like she's just so cool looking i love her nails like her makeup is so good you even got the rings holding hair in the back like they did not have to do that like this doll is just so extra and so edgy that i just love it like her overall vibe is everything she has like a she's a little bit more gray than like natasha is i don't have heather with the variant dress unfortunately but i still love her either way bro then she has the freaking ring on her thumb like in her black nails like she's just so dope i even love like the metallic detailing on her dress right here like i you can't just you just can't deny that heather is so cool like she really really is she's such a cool doll next up we have probably my least favorite of the bunch but one of the best boy dolls i've ever touched ever had he is so dope the only thing i would wish to change about him would be his hair because most of the rainbow high boys have the same sim like this similar hairstyle but he comes with airpods i love the new face mode his eye color is just everything the eyebrows like everything is just on for me as, as far as the face and the like bro he looks good he really does i don't know the thing that really like blows my mind about these dolls is when i think of a gray doll i'm thinking like collector you know what i'm saying the fact that there's a whole line of gray dolls they come with second outfits both outfits are just amazingly detailed like <laughs> girl please 
I love Ash. He's so cool. His second outfit, his first outfit might not be my favorite for real, for real. But his second outfit eats. It definitely does. Even though his first outfit all together not be, might not be my favorite, I do love his shirt and socks. I don't know why, but his shirt and socks, I just love them. I know it's probably like the socks is just so random, but I do love his socks because I feel like it kind of goes with his shirt. I don't know. It's cute. I do like him. His jacket is definitely cool. Just probably like not my style. Um, the pants, okay. Um, I think overall, I would probably give Ash mm, a good six, seven. Yeah. Next up, we have my girl, Nicole Steele honestly a queen <laughs> period i did however paint repaint her lips because her lips were kind of a lot slimmer than they looked inside the original promo pics so i did make them a little bit bigger and as you can see yes she's in her second outfit because i think her second outfit is definitely superior it's the fabric boots the high low jersey like i just love it and the jacket is just so cute i love the way it hangs off the shoulders overall i just really like her face her edges are super cool i love like the white and grays in her hair it just works so well together her makeup is just everything and then her like really light hazel brown eyes she's everything she really really is i don't know about y'all but i definitely think that her second outfit is superior i just love the way it looks i think it overall just works so well her makeup and face is on usually i don't like the two ponytails because just because i feel like they do that so often but like i really really like them on her i was even trying to change the hairstyle yesterday and i just couldn't bring myself to do it because the ponytails are just so iconic I definitely give her an 8.5 out of 10. Next up, we have the twin sister of Sunny Madison, Luna Madison. And oh yes, what you see is correct. <laughs> her bangs are gone. Now, her bangs was, were a mess. I could not get them to lay right. So yeah, I did the big chop. I took some tweezers and my fingers and just went to pulling, girl. And now they're gone. And I'm usually super weird about changing my doll's hairstyle from like what they look like in the show, but they had to go. I'm sorry. Them things were just not finna lay back down, child. So yeah, they had they had to be removed. Um, I love her now though. She is so gorgeous. She eats. I'm sorry. She really eats. I love her in this hairstyle. I did little um knots at the top of her head. Gave the girl some curls. My girl Luna is really sickening. One of, her outfit is definitely one of my favorites out of all of them because I just love this outfit. And if you guys know me, I'm a performance person. So this outfit just really, really speaks to me. It gives me very much sweet dreams, very much mood glare, very much Lady Gaga. And what music video was that? I could not think of it off the top of my head. Oh, I think it was Bad Romance. I think, I think, I might be wrong, but period. I love her outfit. It's so cute. Luna is just amazing. She really, really is. I absolutely love that her and Sunny Madison are twins. Like that is so dope to me. Like, I don't know, I didn't expect them to just, you know, try and give Sunny a twin, but it's cool. Like I'm not mad about it at all. I love Luna, she's great. And I definitely think I would give her a good 9 out of 10 because she's, she's a sickening girl. I'm sorry. So we saved the best for last, Chanel Onyx. Now, this doll is definitely one of my gems in my whole doll collection. Like, one of my favorite dolls ever. Like, wow. <laughs> wow. Chanel Onyx is really a beauty. Like in person, she just hits so much differently. I promise you pictures just, just do not do her justice like at all. Like, well, obviously there's some good pictures of her, but like she's just so much better in person. Bro, and it's hilarious because my sister just referred to her as a skunk. <laughs> and it's just like, she definitely doesn't look like a skunk, but it's just funny because like that's all I could think about now. Just like, because of like the white streak in her hair, but she eats it up. She does. She's so stunning, so gorgeous. I love her like black lipstick. I love the silver nails. Like she's just such a vibe. Like she's just such like a baddie. Like I low-key feel like her and Robin would be friends because they seem to kind of have like similar aesthetics a little bit. But I also feel like, mm, cause I Robin's like the nice sweet girl. And then you got then you got Chanel. She's a little bit more sassy. She demands her respect as she should, cause period. I just love her. The little bow in her hair, her dress, the little net socks, and then the shoes, like, bro. Chanel is just gorgeous. That belt complements her dress really, really well. 
10 out of 10, one of my favorite dolls ever, most definitely, hands down, she's that girl. I definitely recommend her. If Out of all of them, if you're gonna get any of them, she's stunning, she's definitely a really good choice. Honestly, there's no doubt that these dolls are fabulous. I'm really excited to see what Shadow High Series 2 is gonna look like. Like, how are they gonna take this grayscale thing? Like, what are they gonna do with it? You know what I'm saying? Cause like, maybe it might get boring after a while. Like, as of right now, I'm here for it. You know what I'm saying? But like, will people get tired of it after a while? Are they gonna start adding more color? Like, what's gonna happen? Are we gonna get, like, remember we seen that green body? Is that gonna be a thing, you know? I'm really interested to see what's gonna happen because Shadow High is not like Pacific Coast High, you know what I'm saying? This is a completely different thing. This is a rival school. This is like Monster High and Ever After High. This is that, you know what I'm saying? So I'm excited to see what they do for this. I think my ranking would definitely go Chanel, Heather, Natasha, Luna, Nicole, and Ash. It has definitely changed a little bit since the beginning, but I think that's my overall ranking. I would love to hear what you guys think about these girls and guy down below. Please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to support my channel. And make sure you guys are always being yourself and staying true to who you are because you are yourself that at least. Peace, y'all.